Greetings, fellow football fanatics. Open your big brown eyes and get a load of the world's greatest assortment of powerful, perilous pigskin prodigies, the Chicago Bears, not an animal picture. Lyman of Nebraska, Muso of Milliken, Miller of Purdue, Carlson of Oregon State, Ranzani of Marquette, Hewitt of Michigan. Isn't he cute? Watch him go. He takes out two men, sock, and makes a tackle. Mm, what a guy. Number 10, Manders of Minnesota, place kicking specialist, hot or cold. When he kicks, the ball goes over. And now comes that line-smashing behemoth, Nagurski, also of Minnesota. Brumbaugh of Florida. And over here, Carr of West Virginia. Brumbaugh and Carr go to work in slow motion. The ball is snapped. Brumbaugh has it. He fakes a pass. He now drops back and gets ready to heave it. Well, come on, throw it, big boy, throw it. There, nice going. Now watch Carr's back just about break in two when he's tackled. Ouch! Look at that guy. Can he take it? Mm -hmm. And the way he hangs on to that ball is just too, too diviny. And now the famous number 77, football Superman. He's still the fastest heavyweight player to streak down the field with a ball, straight arming as he goes. Aided by swell blocking, he crashes through to a touchdown. Who is he? Red Grange, the one and only. Look at these superstructures. When they hit, you can hear it in Guatemala. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Just a couple of gigolos. Professional football is the postgraduate course for the best stars that colleges can turn out. Show them, boys. Here we go. Hip. In professional football, the player doesn't have to be five yards behind line of scrimmage to waft a forward pass. He moves right up to the line. And there it goes, to Carr. Carr tosses a lateral to Hewitt. And Hewitt throws another lateral to Grange. Now watch Grange shift around a tackle. Pardon you, stranger. You just met up with the shiftiest hips in football. He wants to tackle some more. Oh. No, I guess he doesn't. <laughs> and that, my friends, completes a forward double lateral to a touchdown by Grange, the galloping ghost himself. And now the ball is snapped. Doring, number 27, has it. And that cookie is one of the greatest passes football has ever known. He's a southpaw, and he hurls that thing with a baseball swing. Here it goes. Mm. 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, 40, 50, 60 yards, and Grange is under it. Look out. Atta, boy. And so good old number 77 goes to town for another touchdown. In the execution of bewildering plays where college teams finish, these professionals start. Here's another sensational play in which Doring stars. Brumbaugh has the ball. He passes it. Over to Doring. Here comes a man to smear Doring's pass. It looks like he'll block it easily. His hands go up. But look at this. Behind his back. Hmm? Imagine throwing a ball like this with any degree of accuracy and for 45 yards. And here's Carr under the ball. Watch him snare it over his shoulder. Nice going, fella. And that, friends, is football in a large way. All right, folks, it's the second down, and the ball is six yards from the goal line. Hip. Sock. They pile up. Come on, gang. Only one minute left to win the game. Third down and four and a half yards to go. Get hot. Here we go. Hip. They hit again and gain a yard and a half. Fourth down and three yards to go. 30 seconds to win or lose the game. Come on, boys. Here's your last chance. Ball is snapped to Brumbaugh. He fakes a pass to Ranzani. Fakes another one to Grange. These fakes make it look like a line plunge and bring defense backfield into the scrimmage. 
Brumbaugh now throws a pass, while Grange has slipped behind the defense to receive it. Look at the accuracy of that pass. The ball is just too high for the defense man to knock it down and just low enough to avoid hitting the crossbar. Grain snares it. And there's the end of the game. Pro football constantly gives birth to new thrills and surprises. Here is a goofy acrobatic play right near the goal line that once won a game. He hugs the ball for what looks like a line buck but jumps on the back of number six, who heaves him over the line of scrimmage for a touchdown. Look at number six. He wears a leather sheet under his shirt, and you can't blame him. Those cleats are hot on one's back, as it were. This championship team specializes in wide open plays backed by tremendous speed, power, accuracy, and teamwork. When yardage is needed in a hurry, here's what happens. The ball is snapped. Brumbaugh has it and makes a snappy pass to Grange. Watch number 10 block out number 30. Ouch! And now Grange passes it. To Hewitt, who takes a mighty leap. He's tackled. And as he falls, he passes it to Ronzani, who is finally down for a 20-yard gain as good old George Hallis, the Bears coach, joyously goes into a spring dance. And now try and follow this play. We show it at the normal speed in which it is executed. The ball goes to Grange. Watch this. Hey, and here comes another pass. Uh, 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 stay with it. That was right through the line for a triple lateral. Mm, what a play. Let's go back, boys, and do that again. <laughs> Okay, in slow motion this time. Here comes the ball to Grange. The linemen open up a hole for Red, and he sprints through. And just as he's tackled, here, take it, Mr. Carr. With pleasure, Mr. Grange. Now he's tackled. Beautiful. And now Mr. Hewitt is in charge of the ball. But there's a tackle right on his tail, too. Here comes number eight, Mr. Brumbaugh, just in case. The tackler creeps up on Hewitt. He's got him. They go down, but he throws it. Reach! Hold it! Hold! Look out! Whew, what a guy! And that, my friends, is decidedly that. They can do more things with a pigskin than a Chinese cook with a whole side of pork. In conclusion, the boys will illustrate how some people would like to see football played. Yoo-hoo! Throw the ball. Goodness, look at those big ruffians. They'll just kill each other. Children, children, don't play so rough. Whoops! Whoops!